Hello, my name is Lucille Delisle. I'm a postdoc in bioinformatics in Denis Dubul Lab at EPFL in Switzerland. I would like to thank the organizers to give me the opportunity to present you a project I've been involved in since exactly one year. It was last GCC when I met Lely Ravani and Joachim Wolf. I was totally seduced by the project of PyGenome Tracks, a software that enables to, let, to, to give this type of plot. I don't know if you already faced this issue, but it's really challenging to make an accurate figure when you have different genomic tracks that you want to display into a single locus. Some people would use screenshots from browsers, but this is impossible to integrate into a pipeline, and most of the time the quality of the image is not so good. Others will use different software for each of the genomic track and then compile them using a vector graphic software. But this takes a lot of time, and at the end, you're never sure that it's very well aligned. PyGenome Tracks uses Python 3 and Matplotlib, and it creates images into a raw participle and standardized manner. It's available in Conda through the BioConda channel, but for users that are not familiar with command line, there is also a graphical interface on usegalaxy.eu, usegalaxy.org, thanks to a Galaxy wrapper, which is available on the tool shelf. The project is open source. It's developed on GitHub. Initially, it was developed as a IC Explorer module. It was called, or it's still called, IC Plot Pads. But the number of tracks were growing, the number of supported formats was growing, and it was very useful even for people that didn't have any HIC data. That's how it became a standalone tool by Genome Tracks. This tool is highly modulable. That means that if you need a track that does not exist yet, you can easily create a Python class that will describe it. If you want to use it, you have different input files. Here is a list of the format that are supported by PyGenome Tracks. You can have BED or GTF for annotations, BED graph or BigWig for coverage, H5 and COOL for high C matrices, and then different other format like link files, narrow peaks, epilogues. Once you have your input files, you need to create a configuration file that will describe from top to bottom what you want to have into your image. Each section corresponds to a track. For each track, you can put different parameters that will help you to customize the plot. You can change the color, you can change the orientation, you can change the height of each of the track. To create this configuration file, there are two options. The first one is to use the binary make tracks file that come with PyGenome tracks. You provide the list of the file, the input files into the order from top to bottom. It will create you an ini file, the configuration file, that you can customize after that, or use it exactly as, as it came. The other option is to, to do the configuration file manually. You use the documentation available on read the doc. Here, for each of the track, you will have a description of the track type, a list of all the parameters, the default values for each of the parameters and the possible value for each of the parameters, as well as a description. You also have a lot of examples where we provide the ini file, the command line, and the output of the, the, the PyGenome tracks. Once you manage to do your configuration file, you just need to run one single command line, PyGenome tracks, where you provide your configuration file, the region on which you would like to see, the plot and the output file name. If you change the extension, you can have different formats. I hope I convinced you that PyGenome Tracks can help you to save time and produce accurate figures. If you want to use it and you face some bug or issues, don't hesitate to use the GitHub. You can also request features. We recently have one release every three, four months. If among the audience there are some new contributors, all the pull requests are welcome. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention and I would like to thank the founders. I will be here to answer your question in both hemispheres.